and a pseudo transition will move to other things uh, of vanity and i think that the kardashians are very vain and you can take that however you'd like the bible says that we are so i mean i'm not really talking too much shit when i say that but uh a natalie botcher or bocher she's 21 from brisbane she has a, a blog uh, kind of like a makeup tutorial and this bitch has like at least in this video in particular has like 3.8 million um views on youtube and she claims she knows the secret for a bigger bust and it's as simple as you know applying the right makeup to uh the d de to decollage or decollage and i don't know what the fuck is saying but pretty much this bitch gets like two-tone palettes and puts it on her ditty test it's another word for breast assist tiny breast assist cute beautiful parky don't really need more than a nipple tweak kind of breast assist which are my favorite breast assist i'm not talking shit i'm just saying they put makeup that kind of follows along the collarbones and where a normal cleave would be and pretty much just smears a bunch of fucking colors together just making it to where it looks like you got some take old babies now in uh, most respects you know it's it's you know it's, it's meant for the look that's that's all it is you know we want to kind of fit an image we want to be able to be eye popping and what is makeup then not fucking eye popping and i'm being literal in the essence of how japanese bitches use it not only for cosplay stuff but to literally make themselves look a bit goddamn anime characters which i'm not knocking i think it's just adorable it's a little bit weird and creepy and definitely adds to weird dungeon tombs of the spank bank that one dares not enter nor say that name of but i laugh at you know the cool techniques that we have but also at the links that we kind of go to um you know to fit a certain image and lord knows i am not one to talk shit or to deny um, you know what one does to kind of to keep their image up so whether that be acting like a tough ass or you know in my case you know being just so you know, I can't even think of the word, but just so extreme. You know, to kind of to feel like you're gonna you're you're uh, you're fulfilling your role as whatever the fuck you think you are, and you are only what you think you are. And if you wouldn't, then why would you say you are? And that was a poor attempt of an Eminem uh, quote, but white power. What I want to say is, don't be deceived. You know, don't. Um, you know what I'm saying? Don't fall for what your eyes see. And it's and it's deeper in essence to where even the things in which you see are truly just the surface. And like I said, that's no knock to her because, you know, you do what you got to do and just how if you're matching with an outfit, you want to make sure you can pull it all off. So no shit talking to her, but in a, in a deeper level of kind of, of what that does to us that really keeps us on a fucking track where we're the workhorse and there's a fucking carrot on an invisible string that we're chasing, that we're following, that we're trying to make it down to the finish line. We may not even know that we're trying to finish something. We're really just going. We're really the worst in essence to where we're like handicapped kids. Uh, that get taken to and fro, place to place, nor not left from right and hardly up from down. And yet we get taken or we're left to go home alone. And home's only about two blocks away. But either we're going to figure it out or by a divine miracle or we're going to be taken where we need to be. They call it dumb luck. Is what it and, and that, in essence, I think is what allows us to, to get through life. The old of the road, they call it. Cause you either know or you don't know and sometimes you get really fucking lucky. I is blessed. <laughs>